Council would like to take this opportunity to apologise to all of GB News' viewers. Sorry, Keith. Sorry, Linda. <laughs>
14-year-old uh, self-prescribed TV critic, journalist, BBC Sounds, BBC Four, I don't know, I don't care. Because this is not a show where you're there to um, sort of be challenged on your political opinions. You're there. Well, it's part of what you're there for, isn't it? You, you can be challenged on your political opinions on the show. You're there to entertain. It, and yeah, it's an entertainment show. It's there to be entertaining. And what's entertaining is it's Nigel Farage being given horrible things to do and to be humiliated. And we do go on TV Critic. They're very much to sort of highlight your personality. It's fine for me, I think, if you're a person who has had their political career behind them, who might be expanding themselves into uh, entertainment. But it's clear with Nigel that his political career may not be over. He's got a future for it then. And I sort of feel a little bit uncomfortable if his political opinions... I bet he wouldn't feel uncomfortable if it was the political, political opinions of somebody he really liked. I bet if Greta Thunberg was on this show, he'd be loving it. Here's, you know, it, 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 the utter hypocrisy of this and the silence from whoever he's talking to on the on the sofa of this BBC studio. Oh, not only migration, but around climate change and supporting Donald Trump are not <laughs> going to be adequately challenged. And why are they? Why are they not going to be adequately challenged? Are you saying that everyone in here is dumb? Is Josie dumb? Worried about the, the free ride that might give. Is she dumb? That girl there, presenter of this morning. This young 14-year-old TV critic's telling us that she's dumb. She won't be able to adequately challenge him. I thought she was doing quite a good job. I mean, I think it's fine for a politician to be on an entertainment programme if, if that is the end of their political... You just said that. You're repeating yourself. ...career as a way of... Oh. They're, they're trying to sort of path a new way forward. I just sort of... I do envy his, his recedes. I like the V. I wish I had more of that. Find I like a, that. A bit uncomfortable if it's... Look at them sat there. Not challenging, sat there listening, la, 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 la. Really clear uh, <laughs> cut there. And I also just think it's about, uh, it, yeah. it, it, it said well, something about our political climate. It I doesn't, think it? A lot about doesn't know, it doesn't. He's in the jungle doing an entertainment show. It doesn't say anything about our political climate. Look at him looking up at the lights for inspiration. <laughs> What's he doing? It's, this guy's driving so me nuts. Because it involves so much about... Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> You're not going to get it looking up there, mate personality and not so much about the debate about political issues around policy around the future of the what on earth is he talking about this is a tv show about getting people to eat maggots he's talking about political policies and future of the country he's mad he's mad that such a blinding move has been made he doesn't want farage to become popular again and i think more than anything is this utter belief that this guy has that what he thinks and what he says is of note is important to the world and at 8 43 in the morning when everyone's getting ready for work bbc are, are giving him a seat on their sofa tell us what you think and he's telling them and they're not stopping anything they're, they're saying hold on that's just a, an entertainment show isn't it this country about democracy by the way this isn't a criticism of the show he's giving this is um this is him having a uh this is him talking politics it's not talking about tv shows they when it involves just about ego, what does that say about us? So, where, why, are we, why, why are we talking about egos now? Uh, where did that come from? He's completely changed the goalposts. It's uh, a straw man in everything. I'm a little bit baffled so by, it, by this guy. What I find so frustrating and so annoying about these programs is not really about politics at all. It's all no, they're entertainment shows. It's all about personalities. Uh, yes. Well, make your mind up. I thought you said it wasn't about personalities. This was about politics. I suppose as well, the counter to that, though, is if there is a criticism about a lack of engagement in the political process, if people aren't watching political programs, they are at least getting some sense of politics Truly, when they're I, watching programs like this. But just well, outline... Oh, there's Lempick there. He's about to say something. Um, the the, the um, Say something... What, what has happened? What has been discussed in the jungle about politics that is so... Is, is, are they, that they're so afraid of? Sticking your head in a box full of creepy crawlies really yep. allow more political Hilarious. engagement. I'm not so sure. But that's not why he's, he's there. This is a program I really, I really don't like personally. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had to talk about that. It was just such crap. I didn't, couldn't believe this guy. 
I don't know. I don't know who he is, but he's now on my radar. I'll be watching him. Um, head four times larger than the rest of his body. Um, and already gone a bit bald at 14. Uh, but, you know, I'm not here to have a pop at him personally because, you know, there's plenty you can say about me. Um, anyway, what do you think uh, of this TV critic's critique of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? Uh, I hope that, uh, that Farage does well. I'm watching very carefully, mind you, of what's happening with GB News because I'm a little bit concerned myself by the amount of Reform Party and um, um, not Lawrence Krauss, Jesus, Lawrence, dear the Fox, and and all that lot and Richard Tice and all that. I'm a little bit concerned by how many of them lot and the Brexit lot are now sort of installed into GB News. So I'm watching that a little bit with Bitty Breath, but um, God, that guy, he's 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 the worst. <laughs> 